that's all we want is for people to be seen and heard because it's wild, debaucherous uh, magic on top of the fact But not actual magic, not no, fantasy, not actual no magic. fantasy. Yeah, there's no now you see Reality it. Reality knows. It's now you see it, now you always see it. <laughs> you know nice! I mean? Not bad. Not bad. Uh, We're trapping it. Yeah, but there's also so much humor, heart, and, and horniness, and vulnerability, and just, <laughs> uh, you know, discovering who you are, finding your chosen family, and we all just happen to be Asian, and I think that's the most beautiful part. You know who can bypass airport security? K-pop stars. Everyone remember their names? Sassy. Cutie. Lisa. Lisa, too. I don't believe these girls are singers. Girls, show them. Um, Show them what? No, we first met like right before this big table read. So it was my, I think some of you all had met each other before, but it was my first time meeting them. And the context was, I, I actually hadn't landed the role yet. So there was a little bit of like, how can we help Sabrina? Who's like kind of a baby to all of this, like prepare. And um, and then that we actually, that was the first time we rehearsed doing that, like that WAP scene with the beatbox. They sort of sprung it on us um, right before, right before the table read. So we were, <laughs> we had just met and then we were like all around was this it my table backyard being like, or something? Yeah. yeah, it was yeah. like your backyard, and we were all like, uh, what, what, what can you do? And I was like, a little like, oh, yeah, you yeah. box. And then everyone well, started guess... laughing, and I was like, what's funny? <laughs> what's funny about, sorry. Because it was so good. Yeah, it was, I yeah. think also, I think oh. well, the first we were, time like, we were like, I could also do this. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was just like, like doing every skill, and then and then we all tried to <laughs> learn an acapella version of <laughs> what a WAP, and um, oh, yeah. <laughs> we were like, how do we do it? We said, we will, we will WAP. Yeah, um, that's awful already. Bad. Bad. It no, was but, bad. It was bad. But I think we had had a, a, a series of, because it was still like kind of height of COVID when we were all being yeah. cast. And so the first time of us four being in a space together was over a Zoom chemistry read. Mm -hmm. and, but there is multiple different, you know, versions of it. And when us four got together, I really think there is a, which is saying a lot because it was over Zoom, but a certain magic like, oh, these four really work together. And then meeting in person and getting to right away group project create a little thing together to surprise everybody and that table, table read was so yeah. interesting was it was it felt really fun from the very start oh and it did feel representative of us on set like when we're on set like we collaborate together all the time on the fly we'll be like oh you do that you do that yeah. like, there's a lot of group projects yeah yeah <laughs> i am a good christian girl saving myself for marriage wait what? wait 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 you two have never had sex our connection is based on spiritual not physical intimacy. Did you have a spiritual connection when the Jonas Brothers were Eiffel Towering you? <laughs> Everyone, I think, shares a similar experience where, you know, when we were adjacent to comedy in any kind of way, people would be like, oh, you should totally do a movie with like Seth Rogen one day, right? But back in the day, the role available for us wouldn't be one that we could just unabashedly make fun of ourselves. Not even back in the day, still today. By back in the day, yeah, yeah, yeah. today and yesterday and yeah, yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, <laughs> um, yeah, so I think the whole thing, the whole very, the very act of this film is turning the trope on its head of like any, any way that we are usually like number four on the call sheet to be made fun of, we're actually just now all four of us here making fun of ourselves, right. being disgusting, not model minorities whatsoever. You know, Teresa Shaw, one of our writers likes to say, which is one of my favorite ads for this film is yeah. we will bring dishonor, dishonor to us all. <laughs> and that, that's so, you know, it's it's amazing. It's fun to just get to have a good time and, and make a mess and be joyful in a way that is deep and has a lot of depth to it, but is not about that. Yeah, mm -hmm. right? I don't think like it, not taking yourself too seriously. Yeah, yeah, and not having to feel self-conscious or that we get to navigate in a certain way on set with our director and like just having um, people with that same perspective and background at the helm of it. And I think that we just got to really fully flesh out characters mm -hmm. and be um, fully human for the first time, yeah. Audrey, say hi. Just a little bit of love makes the world go round. Let's say spy. Just a little bit of love. Slides off limits to Ching Chongs. <laughs> Do you want to be best friends? Everyone's experienced being bullied. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, everyone's mm -hmm. experienced not feeling like they belong, especially as a child. Um, and so it's not even just a race thing. I think like everybody laughs yeah. at that because yeah. there's a familiarity there, and that's the whole thing. Is like um, people who haven't experienced certain racisms or certain discriminations. Um, 
can recognize and relate to that, mm. and then they, and it, it just so happens to be with Asian faces. Yeah. yeah. I, I think it's definitely beyond race, and also, you know, I think, you know, I've been asked if certain body parts of mine are slanted, <laughs> like, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? That was a big one growing mm -hmm. up when people would ask mm -hmm. that question, mm -hmm. and or, you know, make fun of my family for how they yeah. drive, the gloves mm. of it all, the visors Ugh. of it all. So yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a thing where I think us growing up, like, we didn't have this movie. We didn't have a lot of the conversations that are having that we're having right now collectively as an industry. And so what we did was we we stomached it, we swallowed it, and we said we figured out a different way to survive. If I had seen this movie when I was little, then I could have also named and had the conversation of, oh, that's a bad thing that someone's treating me that way mm -hmm. or saying that to me. I think when you grow up, you know, being the only one kind of like you, then you. Um, tell yourself you're not allowed to feel certain things and you're not allowed to call out something for being bad because that's what normal is and so I think that this is really Cool that this is this movie. We're so honored and like excited about it because now we get to start the conversation of that Yeah, and I'll we're just I'll, I'll go ahead I was just gonna say like just another cool layer of it is that's like it's a part of a big fun comedy film It's like taking these things that probably when we were kids made us feel so small and now like we all get to like act it out feel empowered in the scene and then just like make people laugh like we're like turning something that sucks into something so fun and joyous and like mm -hmm. yeah it's like we're not we're definitely not promoting violence but we're like in fact we're just promoting like turning bad stuff into really yeah. awesome enjoyable art and I don't we know. just got to have fun yeah. yeah like it was joyful we were laughing all the time eating all the time and like eating all the time you know and just enjoying each other's company yeah. that's the space we haven't been allowed either totally you know I, yeah. telling our stories is not just oh let's let's talk about this trauma let's talk about this we just want to be able to have fun